Hi, and welcome to another tutorial from Worship Media Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about overriding the global settings for songs and scripture. In my last tutorial, I talked about uh, global settings for songs and scripture, modifying them because the global settings, if you were to install Easy Worship by default, the text is really big and it takes up the entire um, area, the entire space with the with the lyrics, which doesn't look pretty and it doesn't work with uh, most backgrounds, if not all backgrounds. So let's talk about overriding backgrounds, uh, the global settings per background, so that we can uh, take advantage of different variations of backgrounds where you have certain areas that you can present the lyrics on and areas where you cannot. So you have this tree as an example. Or let's say uh, you have, uh, let's, let's, let's use holy, 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 and I'll talk about this in a second. But let's add the, um, the flower now to this one. And you notice it changed this guy because it changed all of the backgrounds that had the tree. So we don't have to do that by double clicking it did that. So let's go back here and let's specifically put that tree back on that one. All right, little tip there. Okay, so you notice on the flowers, I have this in a different location. On the tree, I have this to the left and I'm only using up this real estate. And on this kind of, I call it the oil painting uh, motion. I have basically using all of it, almost all of the real estate here. Okay, so let's talk about setting these. Before I go into to, uh, setting all these, let's talk about loading the backgrounds into this window, this module here. Okay, I've never talked about that in loading media. I'll make sure I include global settings in loading media links to those tutorials at the bottom of this video. But let's click on options. And you'll notice I can add multiple backgrounds. I can add a single background. So let's look at adding a single background. And I can add just a color background, and that would be pretty ugly. I can add some grad, uh, some gradient background, so I can start from you know black to blue. I can change all this here. You know that that might be nice for um, maybe just presenting a message or something like that. But you know what? I don't think you'd probably ever use these two tabs. Let's go to images, a still image or video. We're going to talk about video in um, in our tutorial here. Now I can browse and I can load a specific uh, video file, which is cool. Or I can go back to this window here. And I can browse directly to the bin. And remember on my last tutorial, I talked about creating a shortcut to your resources. So I can browse directly to it and I can drag and drop it. So if I let go, it will actually drop this background into this bin. I already have it in there, so I'm not going to do that. All right, so that's how you add it to this, this uh, backgrounds module up here. All right, so once I've done that, I can now override the global options. Remember, the global options were uh, the standard setting for all lyrics and scripture. Okay, so we're going to change that. Now what I'm going to do for, let's say, the tree as an example, I'm overriding it. If I didn't override it, notice that it will use the default global settings, which is going to go right over the tree, and it's just not going to look right. I mean, it's going to be hard for the eyes to, um, you know, maybe read the text over here. So I'm going to go to override global settings. I'm going to go into my backgrounds designer, and you notice once I click on the link, I'm going to have this, this uh, uh, bounding box, this box that creates a boundary for my text. And you notice how I just have it kind of snug right up against this tree. And I'm using a little bit down here as well because it should be fine. This is white text with a black border, so it'll be okay on this darker image. And I can change font size, you know, I can change font type, um, but I can also change my position. I can go middle. I can do uh, centered, but let's go back to what I had because I think that looks nice and clean. So there you go. Now I have, uh, I'm using my override of my global settings. So every time I use this background, every time I use this particular background, it's going to take advantage of my override. And it has an annotation of an A here to uh, say that it is a new override for uh, the global settings. All right. 
And you notice here that uh, I did make some changes in the designer, but they haven't taken to this background. They actually have because I didn't really make any changes. I just you know, showed you disabled, enabled, and kind of messed around with positioning. But if you want to make sure that your new changes take effect on your backgrounds, you right click it and you go to reset to automatic background. And you notice it didn't do anything because I really didn't make a change, but I did mess around with settings in there. Okay, so uh, that's it. How to set or override global settings per background using the background module. I hope this was very informative. If you have uh, any questions, use the comments below. If you'd like me to add any additional tutorials or, or an add-on to this one, leave it in the comments below as well. God bless.